Nick Hilkins, outside the bowling, West Ham Fan TV. Not a classic performance, boys, but we're through to the fourth round. End of the day, it's the FA Cup, anything can happen. You just want to be in the next round, don't you? You want to be in the hat, and that's what we got, and we just got to accept it. You know, it's pretty or not pretty. You'd rather be in the next round than play well and lose, wouldn't you? Uh, definitely, definitely. I think you've got to grind them out in the FA yeah. Cup, just get them as you can. What do you think about the team selection today? Was there enough potency up front? Because it didn't look like it from where I was sitting. Yeah, well, yeah, it was very poor. And then got the, got the goal at the end, so he's the hero, but yeah, I thought he was very poor, he's been very poor recently. I went to Swansea and it was shocking, and I think we need better than Jelovic. The transfer window's open now, should we be looking for a new, new forward? Yeah, definitely, I mean, definitely, yeah. I mean, with just Carroll, I mean, he's injury worry all the time, so, and Jelovic just is, isn't good enough. Although he's here today. Who was, who was the best players out there today? Really got man in the match, do, do you agree with that? I disagree with that. I actually thought, Darren Randolph. Randolph? I thought Randolph, you know, he's, he hadn't played for ages, he'd come into the team, and when he was tested, he caught the ball, he didn't, because he couldn't, he didn't punch it, yeah. he didn't parry it, he held it well, looked confident in front of the, in front of the sticks. I just thought, give it to him, why not? You know, he's coming to the side and he's, he's kept a clean sheet. Sometimes it's whoever's sponsoring the game who they want to meet at the end of the game. That's, that's what I'd say about uh, Man of Matches. Fourth round, who do we want? Do we want home ties? Because we want as many in there as we can, don't we? Of course we do. But um, easy game would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, uh, I, I don't know if Peterborough won. I know Martin Samuelson scored for them. Yeah. But it would be, it'd be great if we could get an uh, easy, easy tie. Yeah. Yeah. Eastley, uh, I think Eastley, Eastley won. Eastley won. They were winning, yeah, so maybe then, you know what I mean? I think they drew Bolton, I think Bolton got one back. Oh, they didn't, did they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, last I saw, they was winning. No, but um, Sunderland, though, are they out? They were winning. Yeah, they were yeah. Out, yeah. Yeah. Um, Premier League next week, we get, we get back to Newcastle. What can we do next week, boys? Three points. Three points? Yeah. Confident three points up at Newcastle? Yeah, I'm going, so yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, one more thing before you go, I've got to say this, I've been asking everyone, we want to we want to get some thoughts on this. Village this morning was on the internet, I don't know if you saw it, right. telling everyone that the FA Cup was more important than the Champions League. He was adamant. Yeah. Do you agree with him? I think he's a very down to earth manager. You know what I mean? He will keep his targets realistic, which makes it a lot more fun for a fan like me and you to get involved yeah. with. Um, last season, Big Sam, David Gold, they were all at it. We're going to win the cup. Big teams went out and we bottled it to West Brom. This season, if we keep our heads down, we just take it game by game. There's no reason why we can't win the FA Cup. Uh, yeah, well, I'd love to see silverware last season at the Bolin, of course, but European football, we do get into the Europa League through the FA Cup, so, yeah. Again, yeah? yeah. No, we don't want that again. Anyway, boys, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Thanks a lot.